Good day everybody, my name is Earl Stein and this morning I'm going to be showing you some roll forward options. Now, in this instance, we're going to show how to boost your productivity. How are we going to do that? Well, in an audit, a lot of items that you would do for this year would also pertain to the following year. Example, planning. Now, while planning may change from year to year, majority of it would not. So, in this demo, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be logging into demo client here. Let's load it with audit light. And we're going to have a look at the audit planning doc that we've already completed for the 2015 audit. And I want to show you how we're going to roll forward that audit planning into the subsequent year. In the subsequent year, we can then just review the planning, see what was documented last year, and make any changes if applicable. Now, of course, that review should take minimal time instead of creating a brand new order plan. Okay. Let's have a look at order programs. For this example, we're going to use understanding the entity. Now, understanding the entity, you can see already completed and already signed off. So once we complete, let's go. Let's go year end close. Are you sure you wish to continue financial year end? Okay, here's the whole options with the financial statements update. This is all standard. Yes, we want to take for the current financial statements. So we want to leave all the cosmetic changes that we've done. And I want to ensure that all my reports are at least updated to the latest. What does this mean? Well, for example, your audit report will be updated to the latest SAPS 3, etc, etc. Okay, framework, if it's SME, methodology, audit light. Yes, I'm happy. Next. Now we're busy updating the reports in the financials. Yes, yes. Okay. And now update order program. So select existing order programs to roll forward. So this is where I can choose any order programs that I've completed or any additional working papers. For example, fixed asset register, VAT turnover recon. Now a lot of those figures won't purely be pertinent to the subsequent year, but we can use that working paper as a base instead of starting one purely from scratch again. Amort schedules. Anything that you've completed that you want to take into the next year's audit file, you can simply select here. Now we click finish, and what DraftWorks is going to do now is going to do its normal year in close procedure. However, when it's taking forward the brand new methodology working papers, audit light, it is now going to take forward those and then it's going to identify all the files that you've chosen to roll forward and it will then, if applicable, overwrite or bring in those files from your previous audit year. Okay, and it's almost done. We should see shortly what the effect is. Now, the nice thing is that when we brought that working paper through to the next year, of course there hasn't been any sign-offs. So if I go to audit programs, and I go to planning, you'll see it's understanding entity is no longer signed off. My work is still here that I've completed in the prior year. And now I can review it, see if there are any applicable changes. If not, fantastic. Makes my life easier. Set as prepared and move on. Okay. So that's one little nice uh, feature that we do have in DraftWorks. We're going to be running a whole lot more of these videos just showing you the nice little tips and tricks. If there's any requests, please let us know. We'll gladly produce something for you. Hope everybody has a lovely day. Thank you so much. Bye.